All right, I have a pair of Tankovas Cayman Crocodile Roper boots. And I actually own a pair of Tacova's boots, and I absolutely love them. So I don't know if that's what brought you to the channel if you own a pair. Um, but this, three reasons why I would buy a pair of Tacova's boots is one, the quality. They use a very quality leather, including the shaft of their boot. Very soft, premium leather that they use. Um, two, another reason is... The price point you're not going to pay thousands of dollars for their product but they, they got the price point down to where it's very affordable and then the th the third reason why i would buy them is you don't have to break in their uh their boots straight from the box pull them out wear them and they feel like they've already been broken in it's a very soft feeling boot very comfortable and a very attractive boot so anyways i'm going to put a link down below um on this pair, if anybody wants a, a nice uh, used pair of Tacova's boots, these are a size 9.5D. Um, pretty popular size, so I don't see them lasting long. So depending on when you're watching this video, that link might already be gone. Um, but I'm also going to put a link down uh, to the Tacova's website um, to where you can shop around and see if there's anything else you like. But on this particular pair, uh, this came through uh, one of the shoe drives that we do, the, the Footwear Fund shoe drive. And what we do is we help out a lot of organizations raise money. So uh, whether it's a group or a nonprofit, what they do is they do a shoe drive. They bring in a bunch of shoes, and at the end of the shoe drive, I'll come in and pick them up, and I will write, write them a check for the, for the shoes. I would say, and on the premium items like this, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go ahead and sell these um, on our online store, the Selling Our Souls, which I'll put a link down below on that one as well. So, um, For the uh, footwear fund, when we get a lot of shoes in, I would say about 85% of the shoes, what we end up doing is donating them to the homeless um, here in Dallas and Fort Worth areas. So just to let you guys know about that. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is clean and condition these boots, as you can see here and in the pictures, that they just need to be conditioned and cleaned up. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use, um, you could either use saddle soap or the Bickmore Exotic. Um, this is a cleaner, a conditioner. Um, you could use it on a lot of, and it also protects it. I could, just by looking at these boots, I can tell that they are really not that dirty. They've just been worn. That's the only thing. So th they don't have mud on them. They're not in really bad shape. But in some of the areas, you can see where it's really lost its uh, color. And what we're going to do is find a polish that has that pigment and get that color back in there. So, so I, what I'm going to do is just scrub them down with this. Just a light scrub. Take off a lot of the surface uh, dirt. And then what I'm gonna do is follow it up with a really, really strong conditioner. And that is Reptin by Saphir. This, this stuff is amazing. It's good for any type of exotic skin, whether it's crocodile, alligator, shark skin, um, you name it, it's, it's good for it. Any type of exotic skin, this stuff will work. Um, then, what I'm going to do after you lay that on there, which I'm going to go through it all, is you're going to let that sit on there. It's going to crust up a little bit um, if it doesn't soak it all in. Just depends on the type of skin that you're using. You'll want to get a pig hair brush. It's a little bit uh, tougher than the horse hair brush, but it's still soft enough to where it's not going to ruin the leather or anything like that. You're gonna knock off any of the excess um, conditioner. And then I'm gonna lay in the uh, cream polish and then put a wax polish on the top. Follow it up with uh, the uh, edge dressing. All right, now with this stuff, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is 
just go ahead and spray down this boot here. And I'm just working this in and this will re release a lot of that dirt that's built inside a lot of those crevices. Same thing to the other one. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is use the Repton right here. And this Repton has lanolin oil in it, um, and that is oil from sheep. And that will condition this. So the main areas that you want to use really uh, concentrate on is the creasing area in the in the boot because if you ever see an old pair of boots that is where you're gonna see most of the cracking so so I always apply it here first and then I'll go ahead and cover the rest of the Let's go ahead and hit the other boot and do concentrate on this area right here.
Now, depending on your style and what you're trying to go for, this Repton will put a, a very light polish on it when, if you buff these up. So I'm actually going to polish them up a little bit more. So I'll show you what I do. But what I'm going to do here is just let this sit uh, for about an hour. And then I'm going to come back and brush them up. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I let these sit here for probably about an hour or so. And if these were your boots, I mean, you could let them sit overnight if you wanted to. And that, that's not a problem. But um, I don't see a lot of buildup. Um, so in this case, I could use a horsehair brush. But I already have my, uh, my pig hair brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and... As you can see, as I'm brushing that Cayman crocodile skin, you can kind of see it shining a little bit. And just to show you the shine that you can get just from the Repton. You can see it. It's, it's looking pretty good. All right. The upper, the upper shaft, uh, this premium leather, if you, if these were your boots and they had never been uh, conditioned before and they're older, you would want to use the Saphir Renovateur Cream. Um, I can tell that these don't need it, so I'm not going to do it on this particular pair, but I highly recommend this. All right, let's jump over to the other pair. All right. Okay, so it's a really good idea to really eyeball your boots before you condition it. And you can see that there was a lot of discoloring going on right here. But once we conditioned it, it put a lot of moisture back into the, uh, to the skin where it darkened it up. Once it starts losing that moisture, it's going to go right back to what it looked like before. I really don't know how long that's going to take. So what I like to do is go ahead and use a cream polish and I, I like the Tarago cream you could use the Saphir which is a premium cream as well um, this is actually made for calf skin but um, if you just use a little bit to color this up this is a really nice trick so what I'm gonna do just use just a little bit and you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and
and just to where in case it just colors it a little bit darker what I'm gonna do is just do the toe area as well whereas the toe area really didn't look that bad I'm just gonna put just a little bit up here just to where it matches that heel area Let's go ahead and do the other boot. What I like about that Turago cream is it really gets into that skin. Whereas I've used a lot of other cream polishes and it just sits right on top. And you, when you buff it, it just buffs right off. So. Go ahead and buff these out and let's just see what we're looking at all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to use a horsehair brush Everything is looking good. Let's go ahead and work on that other boot. All right. Everything is looking good so far. This looks great. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put a little bit of wax polish right here on the toe and on the heel and we'll be good to go. And what this, uh, what this stuff does is it really protects, puts a layer of protectant over the top of the skin. 
and it really produces a really nice shine as well. I'm not going to put it around the creasing area. see what we're looking at here. Alright, they are looking great now. One thing I would recommend doing is if you have any nylon, um, you could use that as well. Sometimes if you see a little bit of a haze on there and it's not really coming to a shine, go ahead and buff it up because that nylon will produce a little bit of heat. Really, really good to create that shine. This one's looking good. While I'm working on it, I'm going to go ahead and edge dress this. Using the Feebing's edge dressing. Let's go ahead and work on the other boot now. All right, and that should do it. Let's go ahead and put them on the desk. You can see the before and after pictures here. Um, and just as a reminder, these are the Tacovas Cayman Crocodile Roper boots. 
and I highly recommend them. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below, one for this particular pair that I uh, conditioned and shined up, and I'll also put one down for their website. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.